Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Cookery Nation. Today what we're going to do is we're going to dive into making polenta quick and easy. Now this is not instant polenta that you buy in the grocery store. It is simply medium grind cornmeal. But you can make it really quickly using the microwave. There's no need to do it on the stove. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to measure out, in this case I measured out a half a cup of cornmeal and two cups of water and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So you're going to get yourself a microwave safe bowl and in that you're going to put your water and it doesn't matter, I just use room temperature water and then you're going to put in your cornmeal, don't worry about creating a stream and whisking in furiously, just dump it in there. Then put your salt. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give it a good stir, make sure it'll all combine together. And I usually use a whisk for this and it just seems to stir things better. Then we're going to cover it in saran wrap. Now you'll notice that I'm covering it fairly tightly. Um, I would give it a little bit extra slack. Make sure it's sealed around the edges, but you don't need to make it quite as tight as this because you will risk it, ex it you know, basically exploding in the microwave because the, the plastic will puff up. Now this is after four minutes on high in the microwave. Now you'll see, you can see that the saran wrap is puffed up a bit and then it's going to get sucked into the bowl a little bit as I take it off. Make sure you remember it is hot. You're going to get a bit of steam coming out. There's your polenta. Now it doesn't look like it's completely done, but we're going to give it a stir. And you're going to see that, yeah, it's creamy, but it's still quite grainy. But look, we don't have a whole bunch of lumps. Don't worry, it's not going to get all lumpy. We're just going to give this a really good stir and it's going to go back in the microwave for another four minutes. Now, because I pulled that saran wrap so tight, it kind of deformed. So I need to get a new piece of saran wrap. And again, I put it a bit too tight, but not as tight as the last time. You notice it's a little bit looser because the steam will puff it up. So this gets back into the microwave for four more minutes. Make sure you wear your gloves because the bowl is going to be quite hot. So now this is after the second four minutes on high. We're going to pull that saran wrap off. Be careful not to burn yourself. And there we go. Now it's not, it doesn't have a terrible skin on it or anything like this like some people would say. You give it a stir and look at that. It is really creamy. No lumps, no bumps, no skin. It just worked perfectly. And we did not need instant. We just use medium. Look at how smooth that is and creamy that is. It worked out perfectly well in the microwave. It took a total of eight minutes. So here we are. We're going to actually finish this off with a little daub of butter, probably a half a tablespoon for this amount. If I was doing a full cup of cornmeal, I would put a full tablespoon of butter. Taste it. Make sure it's where you want it to be. And if it needs more salt, what have you, then fine. You can serve it like this. And I suggest serving it in a bowl that is not really cold because it will start to set up. Um, if you're not going to serve it right away, then you can easily place it in a dish so that it will set up and become solid so you can slice it up and create various other yummy bits, whether deep fried, grilled, pan fried, oven baked, so many different options. So just take it while it's still hot, get it into a greased pan, and you can grease the pan with a bit of butter or oil or line it with parchment, however you like, or even saran wrap. Just get it all smoothed out nicely. And you're going to notice it's going to start setting up quite quickly. So once you've got it all set up, pat it down, you can either cover it in saran wrap or uh, put the lid, if it's a casserole dish like this, put the lid on, 
Let it cool a little bit before you stick it in the fridge, off to the side, and then put it in the fridge and it'll be ready for slicing.